Okay, good morning everyone. Happy Friday. So this morning I am getting right back into working on this audit. I had a whole bunch of phone calls yesterday so I didn't really vlog any of those. Um, it was pretty much back-to-back -back calls all day until like around two o'clock and then I was just stuck in working on this audit file and then some things came up with a reporting issue and we had some data missing in one of the dashboards from one of our work groups and then we got word of another issue where there was like an indicator in one of the an indicator that we use for sales um, in one of the tables there's this flag indicator and it was incorrectly being coded for certain products that were we were sold so they weren't being captured so that was corrected in reporting yesterday and we just found out about it yesterday like they were like oh there was an issue but we just fixed it so <laughs> you'll see that um, fix going overnight I need to look at that today I need to look at I don't think we're going to for our purposes and uh, the product because there's only four product SKUs that would impact what we would be looking at from what we've been told. So we probably like for uh, for us, I don't think it's going to be as significant of an impact as it may be for like other groups, but because it was only four SKUs impacting us, while it will make a difference, it probably won't be enough to be noticeable. So I just want to look at that later on today once the data refreshes. Got to keep your eyes on these things when there's issues. And now we went to a team, um, one of our finance, well, our compensation team, we went to them to automate certain things for the managers and they said they could do it. But then they came back and now they're saying, no, we can't do it. So it needs to be done manually. It's kind of like a, I don't even know how to explain it because it's like they want more things automated, but the system has so many limitations that things can't be automated. So it's like, look, I get it. I hear you. I see you. But we either have to, like, there either has to be changes to the systems that we're using, which I doubt we are going to change it, or, you know, as far as, like, using a different system, or th this p existing system has to be enhanced. Hold on, so are we having this call this morning? I hate when people, I'm going to mute this channel, because I swear, they tag, like, every time they tag the entire channel in Slack. Everyone doesn't need to know this. 70? And the first tier is what now? Like what did, and those you're planning on doing combined performance for two months and the top performers in what? I don't know. Like, cause you're saying combined performance. So it's just an, it's an individual metric. Yeah. Like none of this makes sense to me. No, no one's told me to do anything. Okay, everyone. Hello. All right, I need to log on. I was in the office this morning, but had to come home. And so I'm gonna be working from home for the rest of the day. So I missed our little, we had a um, team sync. All right, okay, what is going on? Okay, gotta use my, needs to be charged, but I need to use my work phone to log on to the system. So give me a minute and I'll be back. All right, so my manager asked if we had sales data for a specific metric. They're looking for it. I don't know what, what month, waiting to hear something back, what? So I'm just writing a small query trying to find this data that she's asking for from our from EDW, which is our enterprise data warehouse. So I'm just looking for the month, but she's not responding, so I don't know. So this has activity date, it has, ID. Is that in this table? And I'm just overlooking it. I don't see it. Or user ID. Oh. All right. So I'm just doing a select. I need to narrow it down to our sales employees. Um. Actually, do I have? Do I have their hierarchy? already i'm gonna see i may have a snippet of code already saved that has their hierarchy that i can use in the creation of this if so that would be great select um okay so i'm just gonna use this oh 
All right, so if we do select the ID, names, your managers, comment all this out so that the query doesn't run it. How are you? Doing good, thanks. Yeah, so that's what I wanted to, uh, well, reach out, get clarification to make sure that we're aligned because he's, he stated, I think that you're saying that they're all one. And I, I don't understand that because like my understanding is, and also when I look in, I see like there's an PO code for, but there's also an PO code and you can't add, so there's separate foes for that. So only thing that makes sense to me is I don't know if it's being coded for that dashboard where it's combining the two into one or, or not. Right. Well, Clear, just to, just to clarify, so So it has all the volume for all. And I told her I can pull it from a table, but I like, I didn't see a report either that had it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I was looking to do, but when he was saying it was combined, I was like, oh, it didn't make sense. I'm not saying it's not possible, but it didn't make sense if we are looking at a dashboard that's supposed to be dedicated. But that's the, that's the track that I was going down was saying, hey, for those customers that... So I would just have to pull it, like pull like from employee history, anybody with a title and tie that into the activity from O table. That's the closest I'm going to get to it, but I don't think we're looking for anything exact, but just to get an idea of, I don't, I, I don't know. I didn't ask because I can pull this from EDW. So I don't know if there's a dip. I don't know if there's a difference in what they pay them for, you know, like for as far as like finance and what's in commissions. Yeah. Like I can see in, um, it has all of the codes that are, yeah. So I was pulling those. Okay, all right, cool. Oh, no, no worries. Okay, yeah, no worries, thank you. All right, all right. Okay, you guys, so what I'm doing, and I'm sorry if I'm talking too loud, I have these headphones on, but what I'm doing is I'm working on an ad hoc request to pull some data from a table for my manager. We got it resolved as far as like a uh, clarification on what the need is. And then what I'm going to do is just pull some of this data. I need to write a query from the database. I'm um, leveraging some code I already have um, to pull employees from the hierarchy from our sales channel. So I'm going to... This is why it's important to save your code. You never know where you can like pull different snippets and pieces of the code and just modify it a little bit um, for the request. So this is just like an ad hoc request. Like we need to see this data. We want this volume. The other data that she asked for, it's already in a dashboard in a report, but she was asking for some data that's not already there, like that's not included. So that's why I'm pulling this. And it's in preparation for this call that we have in a couple of hours. So, and I actually have a call in about five minutes that I need to get on. So yeah.
And the last call that I was just on was with a, um, what is his role? Is he like a BI manager? So I got on the call with him to get clarification on what we were looking for because he was stating that it should all be in the dashboard. And I'm just like, but how? <laughs> no. <laughs> but like, so for example, like with this specific um, sales product, I don't even know how to describe it, but like in a way without giving away what it is, but the product, it's available for different types of customers. And I guess that's the only way I can say it. It's like, it's available for different types of customers. So you may have the same product, but the product codes could be different. I would say the difference of like this, if you had an iPhone 15 Pro in red and iPhone 15 Pro in black, it's the same phone, just a different color. That's all this is. Same thing, little bit of a difference, only it doesn't like the product that you get is not different, but color difference. And in this case, available to different types of customers. So that's what we have reporting on the data being available to one specific group of customers. But as far as we know, and from what we found, it's not available for this other segment of customers. So that's what I'm working on pulling from the database. So yeah, I need to pull employee or sales employees because the database has all employees, not just sales employees can sell this product. So I need to narrow down the scope to just sales employees. So I'm pulling the data and limiting it to them. So I'm going to write um, a CTE. I'm gonna use a CTE because I don't need to create with, what is this product called? Select from, and I'm gonna do a left join. And I've done a video on this before, but, um, oh, hold on, from left join to this table. I'm gonna left join my first CTE. I don't know if I need to create another CTE, but let me run this piece of code. Uh, where is, nope, I need to do greater than or equal to, because I need to pull data from that, from January. I'm gonna pull it for the entire year. So I'm gonna write, I need to change this because it's only looking at one day of data so far. So I'm going to do that, but I'm going to do a left join. And I think it's just a best practice to use a left join instead of like a right join. And I've actually done a video on why I only use left joins because you can like, you can flip like what table is on the right. To me, there's no need to, oh, you know what? I need to add in month, but since I'm gonna look at this at the monthly level, so I need to, because I have, I have it broken down by date. I'm joining to our calendar and pulling the day, but I actually need to join to our calendar and pull. Do I want to do a monthly roll up? I think so. I don't think I need a daily result. I'm trying to think, do I need a day? Do I need the day for anything? I might, I'm gonna leave it in there. I'm a, I'm, I'm going to leave date in there and add month, extract. So I'm gonna extract the day from the calendar date and call it my month because I may need date later on. So I'm just gonna have both. So it'll show me the month. If I only need the month, it'll show me the date if I need the date. Cause this is a table. I believe it's broken down by date and I probably need to roll it up to a monthly level. So as far as like the sales data, I think it's broken down by date and I will need to have date and month. So, um, I'm sorry, what? What is this? Okay, I gotta get on this call. So I'll check in with you guys in a bit. Mm -hmm.